Hey, Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. Well, we have three, yes, three new credit cards for you today that were just announced last night. One of those is a completely new credit card and two others are revamps of the very popular IHD credit cards from Chase. And also if you stick around all the way until the end of the video, there will be an opportunity to win a very cool away luggage suitcase, the one with a USB charger built into it, courtesy of today's sponsor, Max Rewards. So IHG is the Intercontinental Hotel Group. They own the Intercontinental Hotel, which I've stayed at in London. They own the Regent, which I've stayed at in Taiwan. IHG also has a partnership with the Venetian in Las Vegas, so you can use IHG points or free nights to book stays there. Those are some of the high-end brands, but they have 17 brands in total on the low end, including things like Holiday Inn. So the two personal IHG credit cards from Chase have been completely revamped, and for some reason, IHG IHG deleted the word club from the name of its membership program. So the IHG Rewards Club Premier is now just the IHG Rewards Premier and the lower level card, the one with no annual fee, is called the IHG Rewards Traveler and it's that one that we're going to have a look at first. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is a 120,000 point sign up bonus for spending $2,000 in the first three months. That is $600 in value for that welcome bonus. And considering that this card is only in tier two, all right, in my five tier credit card ladder system, okay? So it has no annual fee, but it does earn some rewards. That is actually amazing value for a tier two card. Cards in this tier normally have welcome bonuses valued at around $200 or even less. Now let's look at the point earning. So this card earns up to 17 points per dollar at IHG Resorts, three points per dollar on monthly bills, which is utility, cable, internet, phone, etc. Three points per dollar on gas and restaurants. That's an improvement from before. And two points per dollar on non-category spend, it used to be just one point per dollar. Now the card gives you IHG silver status complimentary, which it did not before, but IHG silver status is actually a brand new status level coming out this year, okay, that's kind of in between club and gold. It doesn't actually give you that many extra benefits, but you know, it is something. You can get a 10,000 point annual gift if you spend more than $10,000 a year, that is a new benefit. And to get gold status, you can spend $20,000 a year on the card. That's actually up from $10,000 before. So that's the only negative change. And that spending requirement is actually a bit high for me just to get gold status because you could get an even higher IHG status by just spending a $95 annual fee for the other personal IHG card. And that would be the IHG Rewards Premier card, which currently has a 140,000 point welcome bonus for spending $3,000 in the first three months. And it's quite interesting that it's only actually 20,000 points more than the no annual fee card, okay? So that really shows how high that bonus on the no annual fee card is. But anyway, 140,000 points, it's worth approximately $700 in value. And this card, in case you're wondering, it is a tier three card in my five tier credit card system. So it has an annual fee of around $100 and it does earn some rewards. Most hotel cards with free nights fall into this category. The card has been greatly enhanced and it now earns up to 26 points per dollar at IHG Properties. There are new five point per dollar categories of travel, gas stations, and dining, and three points per dollar on all other purchases. That used to be just one point per dollar. Like before, you will still receive complimentary Platinum Elite status with IHG, which will get you room upgrades. I was upgraded at the Regent Taipei to a bigger room with lounge access. You can also earn diamond status if you spend $40,000 on the card in a calendar year and you still get the 40,000 point free night certificate each year, but you can now top it up with points so that you could actually use it at any hotel if you have enough extra points to top it up with. You get 10,000 points as a bonus and a $100 statement credit after you spend $20,000 in one year and you get $50 worth of United Airlines travel bank cash each year. You still get the fourth night free free on point stays and the only real negative change is that the annual fee is increasing from $89 to $99. So increasing by just 10 bucks, existing card members will not pay the higher annual fee until 2023 though. So in my opinion, this card just got 10 times better. Previously, we only really used this for the welcome bonus and for the platinum elite status to get room upgrades and things, but now those 5X categories and 3X on everything do make it somewhat competitive. So we might actually bring it out of the sock drawer and start using it. But do remember that IHG points are not as valuable as say Chase or Amex points, okay? So just that data point there, they're worth about half a cent per point. So more comparable to Hilton points, maybe 
slightly better than Hilton points. However, those 5x categories do give you a lot more value and will make it competitive in some instances. And guys, we'll put all the links to the cards mentioned today in the description section below if you want to learn more about them. Now, there is one more completely new credit card that has just been released for IHG issued by Chase. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first of all, if you have the IHG credit card and you want to know which credit card in your wallet gives you the best rewards rate on gas, for example, or any other spending category, you have got to check out the app Max Rewards. It pulls data on all your cards in one place. You see point earning across all your cards. You see your balances, rewards balances, etc. Max Rewards Gold even activates your Amex offers and your Chase quarterly categories for you so you never miss a deal. And if you want a free month for that, you can get that with my link below, or you can just download it and check out the free features. And I did say that Max Rewards was sponsoring a competition today to win a very stylish suitcase. So do stick around all the way to the end so you know how to enter. All right, so the new credit card that has just been released is the IHG Rewards Premier Business Card. Now this is very, very similar to the personal version. It has the same $99 annual fee, the same 140,000 point sign up bonus, the same 5X categories, but it has one extra five point per dollar category and that is advertising through social media and search engines and office supply stores. And that makes sense, seeing as it's a business card, okay? That's a very businessy spending category. Then in addition to that, card members can get one extra free night of 40,000 points with the top up feature when they spend $60,000 in a calendar year. Now, I think personally, most people would probably be happy with the personal version of this card. But if you do have a business and you spend a lot in those categories and you really could get the 5X, then that'll be good for you. Also, if you're a big spender and you really could spend 60,000 a year to get the extra free night, or if you just don't want an additional credit line on your personal credit report, then this card could be a good fit. However, if your spending is limited though, you want to look at opportunity costs because for example, the Hilton Honors Surpass card, which also has a comparable annual fee, okay, $95. Well, that gives you a Hilton free night after spending just $15,000 in one year, okay? So $15,000 versus $60,000, and the Hilton Free Night Certificate is actually more valuable than the IHG because it can be used at almost any Hilton property, even really the high-level ones like Conrad, Waldorf Astoria, et cetera, with just a few exceptions. So in my opinion, the IHG Rewards Premier Card is the most exciting, and we will probably be pulling it out of the sock drawer and using it a bit more often from now on. All right, now for the competition, sponsored by Max Rewards. Here's what you have to do to win this awesome suitcase. First of all, you need to follow both me and Max Rewards on Instagram, okay? Links for that is below. Then you need to download Max Rewards, also through my link below, and link just one account, okay? This doesn't work unless you link an account and you will then be automatically entered in the competition to win the suitcase. Now, for current members, I know what you're thinking, can you guys still enter if you already downloaded Max Rewards, you know, months ago? The answer is yes. If you originally downloaded Max Rewards through my link, you can enter. You just need to like me and Max Rewards on Instagram, and then you need to refer one friend to Max Rewards, and I'll show on screen where to find your referral link to send to them. Refer one friend and have them link one account and you will also be automatically entered into the competition, okay? You have to do that in the month of March. If it's after March, then this will all be over. But yeah, if you do it now, you will be entered. And if you're entered today to win the suitcase, you will also be entered for the final prize, which we'll announce next week. And the final prize is really exciting. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's the video for today. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.